It's the last day of our coach tour. It's still raining. Good night, Good night, and Freedom or death? Liberty. Yeah, either liberty or death. Now, Aran is not referring to the fact that it's the end of the coach tour and that I am staying on in Istanbul on my own for another four days, but I am. And it's perhaps as well, isn't it? We haven't been able to take much video on Istanbul so far, have we? I mean, because of the weather. But we have actually still got today left, haven't we? And here we are crossing Ataturk Bridge again. And today we are going to Hagia Sophia, the church which became a mosque and then a museum. And then we are going to do a full tour of Topkapi Palace. I suppose I could have done some filming in Hagia Sophia, but I was already wet through and decided to leave it while I came again. After Hagia Sophia, we spent what seemed like hours trailing about in the pouring rain, dodging from pavilion to pavilion, leaping over puddles and whatnot. So, to cut a long story short, there's no more video today. So, it's now next morning, we're still in front of our hotel and everybody else is clearing off and leaving me here on my own. I'm going to move to another hotel down near Hagia Sophia. It's still raining. I think Birol is building up his roll a bit here. If it hadn't been raining, I would have walked down the hill and caught a tram down to Hagia Sophia. But then I decided to do what everybody said I ought to do and get a taxi. At least I would get dropped just outside the hotel then. Ha! I haven't time here to go through the full story. But this fellow was trying to use a sat-nav to get there. I'd have been better on the tram if it had been raining. Ah, uh, good old Birol. He's got a few more seconds on the video for his bus now. Right, that's got rid of that lot now. I'll show you my new hotel. The rooms on the tour had been perfectly reasonable, but this was the best appointed of them all. Air conditioning when necessary, pictures on the wall, and look at the bed. 100 yards from Hagia Sophia, and very handy for the tram. Your own kettle and bags of tea bags, a television, a mirror. The one big snag for me was that it didn't have a lift. This was one of those small hotels that just had a reception desk on the ground floor and then you went upstairs. But it was very handy for all the main tourist attractions. The staff were very friendly and helpful. I felt very comfortable there and at 45 euros midweek it was probably the cheapest hotel I'd stayed in. It's called the Empress Theodora. And if you walk 100 yards this way, you get the entrance to Top Copy Palace, 100 yards the other way, Hagia Sophia. I'm hoping to use the tram to get back to the airport next Tuesday, and we're going to test the feasibility of that very shortly. We're stood just outside the hotel. As I said, it's very handy for the tram. The tram stop is just around that corner. And just notice how that building sticks out on that corner. This is a small kiosk built into the walls of the Top Gapi Palace from which the Sultan could watch the parades passing in the street below or just keep an eye on what was happening at the Sublime Port. Yes, this is the Sublime Port probably seen better days, but don't make any sudden move, that chap with the machine gun has already spotted us. 
I understand that these officers are now those of the governor of the Istanbul province of Turkey, but in the old days they were the officers of the Grand Vizier. A diplomat to the Ottoman Empire was posted to the Sublime Port. He presented himself here to the Grand Vizier. The term Sublime Port gradually became a term meaning the government. Now this is our tram stop just round the corner. We go that way to Galata Bridge and this way to the airport. We need to check the feasibility of that run to the airport. We need to buy a token from a machine here. It's about 75 pence if I remember and you can go as far as you like. You've seen how long these trams are and they seem to run every 3 or 4 minutes but you're still lucky if you can find an empty seat. I got this map from the Turkey Travel Planner site which is very helpful. The middle line in black is the tram line and we're going to catch it to Dowstop Gulhain and travel all the way to this end which I call Zeytinburnu. At that stop we have to change over onto the red line. From the map it looks as though we have to walk between stations but not to worry, when we get there you will see that it's actually the same station. So here we are now at the end of the line and we just changed platforms really. I can't quite remember but I think you need a, another token here so I have one to be on the safe side. But that's quite a feasible journey and that next train takes you right underneath the airport reception. Anyway, we're on our way back now and what we're going to do is stay on the tram to the other end of the line to see what our scope is. Something we really want to see while we're here is the defensive wall of the city. In recorded history there have actually been three sets of walls. Firstly, the walls of ancient Byzantium. As far as I know, there are no traces of this. When Constantine chose this place for his new capital of the Roman Empire, he built a new set of walls about three kilometers to the west. The city continued to grow, and in the 5th century, Emperor Theodosius built a new set of walls further out. And these are the walls which are coming into view now. We can't stop just now, so remember the name of the next tram stop. It might be important. The name is Pazalteka. You remember that we are staying on the tram to the other end of the line at Kabatash. We are just passing the Blue Mosque now, and in a second we'll be going down the hill where our hotel is. Right down at the end there you can see that gateway into Topkapi Palace and our hotel is here on the right somewhere. Somewhere there anyway. So we're on our way now down to Galata Bridge, passing the railway station where the Orient Express used to pull in. Not much to see there really, but we'll have a quick glance later. If you listen carefully, the lady announcer will tell you the name of it. Did you get that? Sounds like Ralph Harris. We're swinging right now onto Galata Bridge. Yes, Galata Bridge has trams these days. There's Galata Tower on the left there. We'll see if we can find that later. And if they've put a lift in it now, we'll go to the top and have a look out. But let me introduce you to my brilliant new maps of Istanbul, for which I'm indebted to TakeMaps.com. 
Here's old Istanbul, here's Hagia Sophia, and we've come round now to Galata Bridge. Galata Bridge is now down here, and just by the way, here's Ataturk Bridge, which we crossed on the bus the other day. We are now going along this street here, and we'll finish up at the end of the line at Cabotash, where we caught the cruise boat the other day. Right, we've got our bearings a little, so now we can have a look at Istanbul.